All right, who wants to see a little bit of the garden? So an update, and all the flowers going pretty good. Uh, here's our cosmos, our mini sunflowers in the pots, nostrums, I believe. These are just coming along beautifully. Oh, look at that, isn't that fantastic? Sunflower coming up, Rupert in the window. Marigold's looking great. They're all looking awesome, very vibrant. Hemlocks here, and they're still taking their time. This is going to be my sunflower bed we're working on, and that's going to arc and go higher, higher, higher. In the back, we got some. Uh, Russian giants, but uh, some of them are coming up. So I went in and tried to find the seed packets I had. I guess they're kind of rare. Um, so anyways, we ended up grabbing some different ones to spread amongst us. We're going to end up having about seven different kinds of sunflowers. These ones here, these calm, uh, what's it say on there? 3.5 meters tall. I mean, that's going to be... So I'm going to have to do some tree trimming. But anyways, they're going to go in my back row, but uh, we'll show you how some of them are looking here. I did some whapper snipping so I could kind of get around the borders, so it's a little bit messy on the inside of the bed here, but you can see this is uh, coming up good here. One of the big ones, what do they look like? Oh, let's get rid of these, we don't need any maples. So, not all those came up here, I'm missing two, three, four, five, six. So the giant Russians really didn't take as good as this mixed variety pack, which looks about every one came up. Uh, in here, these ones are sparse and hard, hard to come up. And these ones did all right. Looks like about 75% take here. Um, so we shall, we shall see. Perhaps it's too late now in the season, I don't know, but they said for our area, wait till last chance of frost or whatever. Well, Father's Day, we had one uh, just shortly after, so that's all we can do. Anyways, we'll see what happens. It's been good for weather other than that for the garden, so it should have every other advantage. Back here now, we're in the veggie garden. We've got our pickles, also known as cucumbers to some, I guess. Or, uh, what's the other word? Corget and uh, our sweet peppers. I think we actually had one, which I, it, you know, it shouldn't be growing this early, this small. I think they're all stunted, so it's just going to be too tiny to grow. But we do got a little one coming up right there. Here's our corn. Corn is coming up great. Whoop. It's getting pretty tall, actually. So there's our beans. So we've got the ones that we started by seed, which are kind of hurt, and I started them too early, and the new ones, which are already kind of overtaken. They got much greener foliage, so they look healthier. And um, there's our pumpkins. And our hot peppers, poor things, they're just stunted. I don't think anything's gonna take there. I might get rid of it all and uh, put in some carrots. But anyways, this is it, lessons learned. Um, all this stuff from seed, so bound to get some loss. We will go to the front garden now. Or the front flower bed, I should say. All right. So these are just so vibrant orange, it's unreal. Lovely. Our Ruth Olsen daylilies, they haven't come up yet. These flowers are super interesting. They're a big favorite. Here's some more pink daily. We've got some pinks and some reds. We're going to come up with some oranges. All different kinds there. Maybe they'll crossbreed and have some flower hoo ha. Good for them. And then we got our mini sunflower bed here. Some of them starting to. Uh, Blossom out beautifully. Some of our cone flowers, which just still needs to get 
in the ground but we must that's lovely that's splendid all right now to our tomates starting to get some on the vine that's kind of outgrown that so I'm about to come up with another contraption these are getting dry they need water and our orange princes back here so those are pretty cool they have really silvery foliage in uh, in rain and they're going to come up and kind of look like big orange sunflowers from the seed packet anyways is what it looks like and we're going to try and finish up this lilac here soon we got a couple canada day stuff uh, which we're still working on but those can be hung in your house at some point and back around so there's the tour thanks for watching we're rare